Welcome everyone, today we'll have an Enzo Gold Making Guide. As you can see behind me, I have been looting and also selling more gold with different currencies, with different items. So in this video, we'll be looking into the updated notes of ways to make gold. And I decided to categorize them into three categories. So we'll briefly talk about ways to make gold. And this will be about the daily setting to make gold. This will be building on top of our existing guide, which is making about, I think about 8,000 gold per, per day. So this one will be building on top of that. We're estimated to make about 10,000 gold a day using different methods. Now this video will be broken down into three parts. The first part, I'll talk about the major ways of making gold and also how to you know, get additional gold with different methods. Some of those we have covered before, so I'll briefly talk about those. The second part of the video, I'll talk to you guys about my method of making more gold, whether to meme and max and doing small details to get more gold, the timing of selling items, and how to use different guides and also excels to make more gold. The final part of the video, I'll talk about market trading. The first part, I'll talk about the concepts that I come up with that can help me make more gold. The second part, I'll share you guys my details of trading, what items do I buy, what items do I sell, how much gold do I make on them, and how do I make you know, close to 10,000 gold a day by doing this and other routines that is in the game. I do do the routines like you know, the Chaos Gate, Chaos Dungeons, but much, most of my gold is coming from the trading and also coming from buying the correct items and also selling them. And on the final part, I'll show you guys how to find a market-free gold with additional items like the blue and also the red tier 1 stones. And you can make instantly 25% profit in about 30 to 60 minutes. This doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes if you see the price, if you buy it the way I do, you can almost make instant profit. So there's things I want to share with you guys as well on the final part. So let's get into our notes. And as usual, if you're on the notes, those will be in the description for the Google Docs. Now, before we start anything, if you guys haven't seen our previous guide, this notes over here is covered by this video. So this video talks about how to farm daily gold, about 8,000 gold daily. And this one has some very good visual, you know, categorizations by our viewers who helped me to make those. So make sure you check out this guide. We're talking about selling gems. We're talking about rapport. We're talking about making new characters. We're talking about different farms. So this one covered a lot and I try to not spend too much time on covering those. So what I want to briefly talk about is the categorization of how to make gold daily in the game. So the first one is about doing dailies, basically the ones we talk about over here, you know, the tier three dailies, tier one, tier two dailies, the KS get, etc. So you'll be doing dailies. One thing I really want to talk about is that we're selling the tradable materials. And as you guys have observed, the tier three tradable materials have dropped in price in my server as well. Very soon I talk to you guys about my, you know, recording of different trading of different items. You can see those recording. And I plan to make a video on this to give you guys a more detailed Excel of how to trade items, what sold at what level and how many percentage of profit you can make. So basically what I'm trying to say with daily farm is those materials you get, you can sell them for additional gold and especially the tradable ones because, you know, there is a pattern with a daily up and downs of the pricing we'll talk about and also a weekly pattern. If you can read the patterns, you can sell those for a profit. And very soon once we get to the next part, we talk about how to trade the items you get from your dailies. So let's say if you get items from your chaos gate, when should you sell them? Let's say if you get items from your, you know, Chaos dungeons, let's say if you get items from your weekly dungeons, how do you sell them and when to sell them? Now, finally, I was going to talk about this last, but let's start with this first. So those are the additional ways to make gold in a game. We have had videos that cover some of those, like the trading skills, which in my server, you can make about 800 to 1000 gold per hour. And this is really good for tier one and also tier two players. So if you guys haven't seen this one, definitely check out this particular guide. I'll have the links available very soon onto the Google Docs. The second one is very straightforward, and I use this as a benchmark of how much gold I can make per hour. So basically, if we come over to my game over here, so right now I'm about 300,000. I'll show you guys a full video of how I made my gold and how I progress each week very soon. So I'll give you guys a breakdown. You can see that I'm slowly working with one account to tier two, and most other accounts are still tier one. So what I'm doing is I can calculate how much gold I make by doing about one hour on those tier one accounts doing chaos dungeons, which is about 700 to 800 gold. And if I'm doing anything else that doesn't make about 800 gold per hour, I would rather do my alt accounts, right? Because I can farm materials on those. So this is my benchmark on making gold. This is quite important because this will be my reference of what do I do and does this make me more gold than doing you know, stuff on my alt accounts. Now in the previous video, we have talked about selling maps rounds and buying maps rounds and also selling and also buying chaos rate clears. So that was the previous video. So definitely check this out. 
And what I also want to you know, share is we have talked about buying and also trading the tier three gems in the secret shop, which at times it will spawn in the tier three chest. But be careful, guys, don't buy the chest with only six boxes. That is not worth it. We're looking for the chest with 20 boxes. Now, some viewers have been saying that maybe they have nerfed it into six boxes. I haven't seen the 20 boxes anymore. When you get the 20 boxes and they're tradable, if you sell them, you make like instantly 1000 gold. Now there's also tons of other methods that you can make gold, including rapport, selling class engraving books, which we have covered on as well. And also, you know, remind you to do the units tokens exchange for gold and also do the weekly chaos map exchange. One thing about the chaos map I really want to stress out is the chaos rift shards you get from doing the chaos rift. You really do want to exchange for the tier one maps. So let me show you guys over here. If we come over to my server, you can see that the tier two pouches are selling for 87 gold. But if we go to the tier one pouches, they're selling for 240 gold. So if I'm getting the 240 gold pouches per map, it is much cheaper. We have to cover this as well. So just as a reminder. Now, other things that you can make daily gold or additional gold will be running a lower tier of the weekly Abyss dungeons. What we're doing here is we're farming for the purple upgrade materials if you can still loot them. Other things you can farm will be legendary cards, which will be great for your deck. And also, you'll be getting bonus gold for clearing the weekly dungeons, or weekly abyss dungeons. So those are the additional source of gold. And now, after the summary, let's come over to the new ways of making gold. Now, coming over to this quick replay, what you're going to see is you can see people are bidding for the golden maps in my server. And usually this can go anywhere from 15,000 gold to 18,000 gold. I've seen people bid very high. And what I start to notice is there is a disparity between the time you do the chaos gate. Sometimes the rich whale players who tend to bid a lot tend to start bidding or tend to start the chaos gate a little earlier in my server. So what I mean by that is if you find the chaos gate reset and if you join the reset early, you tend to find a higher bidding price. And when you get a higher bidding price, the gold that is split among the players daily will be higher, right? Because they bid for higher. But if you join kind of somewhere in the middle of the day and, you know, there isn't a lot of players, there isn't a lot of rich players. What you're going to see is the bidding price will be much lower, maybe around 10,000 gold or 13,000 or 12,000 gold in my server. So this one will end up close to 15,000 gold. I have seen players bidding for about 18,000 gold. And of course, the gold you split among you is about 400 to 600 gold. It's not a lot, but you know, it's a main and max, right? So you get about 200 extra gold or 100 extra gold if you find the right timing to do your care skate. This might take a little bit of time, but you're going to see a pattern. When is the best time to do your chaos gate and people will bid for higher to give you more gold. Now, one thing I do want to highlight is we have talked about this previously. I do plan to make a weekly calendar for you guys very soon. Just to give you guys a brief summary, you can see here on my draft notes that I time the time of the day and the price of those major items in my server. Those are the homing materials. And what I'm doing with those timing is I start to read a pattern and I want to make an Excel guide for you guys about this pattern. So basically, there's a few things I want to share just briefly now, and I'll give you guys a brief summary. What you're going to see is the chaos gate, sometimes the chaos gate will only open for a few hours. Notice this chaos gate only open for four hours. And what that is going to do is for the rest of the day, the materials from the chaos gate will increase in price. And over here, you can see the chaos gate actually starts on 11 instead of starting at one over here. So again, this is a different timing of chaos gate. And this particular calendar I plan to make for you guys will show you at what time interval to sell what items will be the most profitable on my server. And you can do something similar on your server. So as a brief summary of what I noticed, the homing up rate up materials like the moon's breath, the solar grays does go up in price right before the weekly reset or on the weekly reset date. Now, materials like the red and also the blue stones, they actually fall a lot by the weekly reset. But what they usually spike around is they spike around the middle of the week between the weekly reset. The reason those items will spike up is because you're going to get a lot of chaos gate between the few days. So notice here on Sunday, on Monday, on Tuesday, there is a lot of chaos gate. So those few days also on Saturday, there is also a lot of chaos gate. So those few days, so Saturday to Monday, those three days with chaos gate, what you're going to notice is the materials that will go up in price is not going to be the chaos gate items but rather the items that complement the chaos gate items. So the homing materials will go up in price. And if you guys are looking for a trend, this is probably the best timing to trade those materials. 
And this is what I meant over here by my previous recording. You can see that I traded about 1,200 of the red destruction stones. I sold it for 12,000 gold. So I was looking for the time interval to trade those. I think I made at least 20% profit on selling those. So 20% of this, I made about 2,500 gold, just be able to read the market. So this particular market trend, I give you guys a little preview over here, but I want to make a focus video on this. Basically, I'll try to tell you guys on the calendar which item will sell probably higher on this day and the reason behind it. Now, finally, as a way to make more daily profit, I'm sure you guys have heard of this. And if you haven't, the KS Dungeon Tier 3 exchange will give you a lot of materials, but they will go up in cost. So over here, you can see my cost has been distributed evenly. And what I'm doing over here is, if you haven't seen our previous video, we'll have a lot of Excels, right? So this is a previous Excel type and a previous video, which I'll show you guys. So this will be the video over here, if you guys haven't seen it. Basically, in this one, you can input manually your cost of purchase as it goes up. So you can change this one to 300 once you buy the next one. Basically, once you input those and you input your market price, this Excel will calculate how much earnable or sellable gold you can make per hour. And by doing this, my goal is to get all my gold to be equal. So I started with like 3,000 gold per hour, then eventually I go down to 1,400 gold per hour. And eventually I might go down to 1,000 gold per hour. But this will show me which item to buy, depending on the market price, and how much you know I can sell them for if I were to spend about an hour in the chaos dungeons. Now coming over to the second part of the video, over here we'll be doing more guides and also more tips on the market trading that I have discovered and things I want to talk about. Well, the first thing I do want to talk about is our previous video with the lawmaker skins and the pet skins, and this has really inflated the current price. And some of you said like you're holding a lot of them and you're selling for them for full profit. Actually, during the day I was making the video and posting it, I actually didn't buy any of those because I was really distracted by something. I was my mom was a bit sick and I was really worried. Worried, so I actually didn't buy any you know i didn't buy those because i was so worried about her and you know i posted the videos and before i know it i was gonna buy some boxes and the boxes prices went up be careful with those boxes guys those boxes you do want to make a profit when you buy them if you're splitting them but if you're not splitting them you can hold on to them for you know long-term investment so some of the viewers are not sure what i mean by that so let me show you guys my my checklist over here so you can see those chests they were selling for about two thousand 24,000 gold. Now they raise up to 27,000 gold. And the pet boxes were selling for about, you know, 12,000 gold. Now they raise them up to close to 20,000 gold. Now, if you're holding on those boxes and not opening them, they have a long-term value to gain. Even at this rate, they will still go up in value in about a week or two time. So those are more like a safe bait. So this is more of a safe bet. If you're holding on to this, you can sell this for higher price in the future because the price of those items is likely going to go up. But of course, I really do recommend you guys watching that particular guide video because I spent a lot of time testing and making the video. It's not just about opening boxes. It's about considering holding onto them, splitting them, and also consider your 5% fee that you have to pay when you sell those boxes. Now, as for market trading, I also have some new concepts I want to share with you guys. So basically, I really want to warn anyone. So we want to test the water of the market each week. After each weekly reset, I will actually spend one to two days not buying anything, but just testing for like a bit of my gold, maybe a few hundred gold, maybe a few thousand gold, just testing the market to see what sells and what doesn't sell. You can see here, I bought maybe let's say, you know, 10,000 worth of the red shot. And if it sells, I'll be happy. I'll write this down. If it doesn't sell, I'll write this down. So I'm recording prices of items during the week, what can sell for 20% profit. And this is what you want to do as well. Don't rush it into the market thinking that you'll make a profit. Because as you're going to see in my you know, checklist over here, I have lots of different items I'm looking at. So with those particular items, some of those items will range in price. And you really want to start to observe the price. Notice that this morning, the price for the Star's Grace is 16 gold. And later on, you know, 16 gold, now it's 20 gold. So those are the things we want to be aware of. And if I bought them at 18 gold, that is not a good buy. If I buy them at 16 gold, that is a much better buy, right? So right before you jump into market trading, make sure you spend some time observing and then spend the next two to three days trading. But then don't spend too long trading because this pattern will change in the next week, which makes things interesting. And I'll make weekly video updates to show you guys what sells and what profit and how to do it. Now, one thing I also notice is there seems to be people who log on to the game at certain intervals of the day because they have to work, because they have to sleep, right? So depending on the mass of players, you want to observe something on your server. So 
after me spending one to two days of observing, I noticed that in my server, or at least in my market, about four to 15 hours after the daily reset, people start to buy things for higher. They can be buying things for 10 to 20% higher. And this is why I noticed that I can, you know, buy the lip stones for lower than I can sell them for higher, or I can buy the, you know, destruction and also guardian stones for lower and sell them for higher. So it is very important for you to notice the time of the day you're buying items. I'll show you guys with the example over here as well. So over here, if you look at my recording at the start of the day, I have bought about 45 of the honor shard pouches. And if you come over to here, you can see that I sold them for about 4,455 gold. So what I did over here is, I have noticed that there may be a profit margin to be gained by buying the small pouches and selling them for 20% higher. So I did this right after the KS guy reset, I bought them for 84 gold and I listed them for 20% higher. So basically I did times 1.2 onto the price and I listed that price. And on the next day, I noticed 4,000 gold of the investment was sold. And this actually gives me confidence to buy more of those. So if you come over to my inventory over here, you can see I have been collecting this medium size of the pouches and also small size of the pouches. So I start to collect more of them. And then I will know at what time of the next day I can sell them for 20% more higher. Now, finally, one of the concepts I want to share is there are items that can be usable by ourselves. So sometimes if I buy item and they have to be usable by me, if they're not sellable, the tier three mats, I can still use them. The herbs, I can still make potions on them, which I'll have a detailed video on this one very soon. I'm still testing on the herbs. And also you want to find items that you want to trade like homing materials that have a higher demand that is usable by people widely. And this will be really good for investment. Now coming over to our final part, and this is why I share my trade secrets and also you know, the items that I'm currently trading. So I have a few methods I developed. The first method is a quick trading method. This is actually by far the quickest method of getting instant gold, but sometimes it, this doesn't happen all the time, right? So if you come over to the market, what I have been started doing is I've been trading on two characters. So one of the characters, currently I'm using my alt paladin. So one of the characters, my paladin, actually monitors the tier one and also tier two materials. And something you do want to notice, I talk about making instant gold over here. It is with a tier one guardian stones and also tier one destruction stones. What I'm trying to buy is I'm trying to buy the destruction stones at four gold. I'm trying to buy the guardian stones at two gold. It might sound impossible, but after reset, after the each day's reset, you can still buy a bunch of them. So let me give you guys some example over here. So over here, you can see that I bought the destruction stones at the right timing for about 1,200 gold, and each of them was selling for four gold. So what that means is when they sell for four gold and the market price is about six gold, you can make one gold of profit. And one gold of profit at four gold is 25% profit. So whenever I see the destruction stone in my server, it's four gold, I'll buy them instantly. And similar for guardian stones, which is quite rare, when they have two gold, I'll buy them instantly. When they're three gold, it's it's a good value, but it's not that worth it. So why is that? It's because you can see there is a massive resistance at six gold. And anything goes below that by two gold, you can make a lot of profit if you buy it and just resell it for the same price. So it just lists it for six gold. Similarly over here, you can see there's a higher resistance at four gold. So if you buy anything at two gold, you still have to pay one gold fee, remember? So we're buying two gold cheaper. So those are the two items I've been buying and just make a few hundred gold now and then. And sometimes I make a few thousand gold if there's a massive sell after the weekly reset or after the daily reset. The weekly reset is when I make a ton of gold doing this. Because when the weekly reset comes, they don't sell for six gold. Sometimes they sell for like four gold. Sometimes here it sells for two gold. And this is when you should refresh and buy a bunch of them for some quick gold. Now, similar method can also be done with tier three and also tier two of the stones as well. And I have tried this once. So basically I have tried to look at the changes of prices. It is much harder to find a steady free gold into this because people tend to be more careful with them. So instead of trying to make 25% gold with a tier one and tier two, I try to make five or 10% gold by doing this. So what I mean by that is if you come over to my little draft, it's basically note over here. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find a certain interval of the day or in a few hours that when they sell for 56 gold, I'll buy them. And I know they usually will sell around 59 gold. I know the fees I'll pay is about three gold. So I need to sell them for more than 59 gold. And I usually sell them for 64 gold. And this doesn't make me a lot. This may make me 10% profit, but this is more like a quick trading method that will take me very short time to buy those. 
Now be careful guys, you do not want to use this method one to two days before the weekly reset, which is a Thursday. So you got to stop doing this by the time it's a Tuesday. Because I, I have made some losses doing this as well, because I keep holding on to them on the weekly reset. The weekly reset, those price will drop. And this is when we buy after weekly reset to make a tons of profit. Now over here, I have talked about the new items I have added to my item list, which are the honor pouches, the small and also medium pouches. So if we come over to my game right now, you can see me monitoring the pouches. I bought the honor shop pouches around 80 to 82 gold. They have went up to 95 gold by now. And over here, you can also see that the honor pouch over here, I bought them for about 160 gold. So they went up to 176 gold. So I have been testing this for the past one to two days and both of the honor pouches at my server or in my region, they were minimum price for about 82, 84 gold. And over here it's about 164 gold. And they will actually go up 20% throughout the day. And again, this is going to be a daily trading. You do not want to be trading this after Tuesday because by the time the weekly reset and also the KS gate opens, the price of those items will drop massively. But on the top side, the price of those items will rise massively right you know, by the day of the weekly reset because people don't have the care skate for those items. Now, finally, as in terms of some long-term investment, also gold making, we have talked about holding on to certain limited and also limited edition skins, pets, and also mounts. The mounts are very expensive. So basically what I mean by that, notice that the skin boxes and also pet boxes, they will eventually go up in price. And you can also have a chance of making additional gold. Notice that the last item that was tradable was 27,000. But sometimes people listed for 20,000. Notice the second item that was traded was 20,000. Sometimes if you check those items on your refresh list, and if you refresh them, sometimes you get a massive bargain. And those can be hold on to for long-term investment. Now, one thing I do want to share with you guys is actually my secret of buying gems. I have not bought any gold with my money. So this game, I'm trying to go purely free to play and I don't use any of the free Royal Crystals. Basically, my Royal Crystals, they're basically used for character expansions. I buy my, basically, I buy my crystals with gold. One thing I have noticed, you can see all the history over here. I haven't purchased anything with cash yet and I've been trying to buy them with my gold. One thing I did notice, and this is very interesting, is that although the price of the gold in my server for the Royal Crystals or the gems is about 720 gold for 95, but this actually price actually goes up and down throughout the day. And what we can do is, instead of buying outright with the recommended price, you can change the price over here. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try to get it for, let's say, 695. I'll try to get for a bit of discount and I can list this out. Basically, I'll be saying I want to buy this much of the crystals for this much of gold. Once I list this, basically, this is definitely below the market price, right? I can list this over here for the day and this might trade. So notice that I've actually listed a few for 700, for 685, for 695. Now, if it doesn't trade, even better is you can cancel this for free. So notice over here, you have 10 listings a day. Notice I've used three listings, or maximum three listings. So I can cancel this. I will instantly get my 6,850 gold. So what I'm doing on the trading is, I'm definitely not buying my gold with cash. I'm using my gold to buy the Royal Crystals or the gems for the Mari Secret Shop because there's a lot of discounts over here, right? So what I'm doing is, instead of buying at the market price, I'm actually listing for a lower price. And if it gets traded, I'm happy. If it doesn't get traded, I still have spare currency over here that I'm not in a rush to use it. So you can definitely list it for lower. If it doesn't get traded, if you want your gold back, you can cancel this instantly and get your gold back. See, look how good that is. So basically, this is more of a method of you rotating the amount of gold and there I get my 6,950 gold back. There is no cancellation fee. And you should definitely, guys, definitely list for a lower price than the market price because this will go down. But there is a chance this might go up though. So this is more of me waiting for a bargain for the price to shift. Sometimes this will go, you know, this goes up to 7, 720. Sometimes this goes down to 650. Sometimes it goes up to 770. So if you're looking for a bargain, you can list the way I do and try to get a bargain in exchanging your gold for gems. Now, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I do try to make this video a little shorter, but you know, before I know they explain too much. And of course, my goal of making those guides is to give players more ways to make gold. 
because you know there's always you know different ways to make gold right i want to discover all of them or most of them and i also want to find a new safer way to make more gold for us so in the future what i'll do is i will find more products i'm currently testing the herbs and if it works i'll give you guys a summary of how to treat them when to treat them and how much to hold on to them and when it's profitable to sell them now of course this video i have assumed you guys have known all the other basic steps of daily farming so if you guys haven't seen the previous video definitely check it out this covers the basic concepts of making the 8000 gold and over here we're looking at additional ways to make gold and this should help you make anywhere from 2000 to 4000 gold a day additionally so this gets up to maybe 10,000 or 12,000 gold a day by using my methods and also using different trading strategies now if you guys haven't subscribed to this youtube channel make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them, and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys. And let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.